Yeah, it's good. Hey, good morning. Jay Nicholas and Chris Daughters having fun at the Caddis Fly Shop. Squid Row Fly Series. I'm going to talk about the best way I have found to secure shanks in a vise. It's this HMH tube fly adapter. Wait a minute. I'm not tying a tube fly here, but guess what? This little thing here that holds your tube mandrels is amazing. I'm going to take a shank here and pretend it's a mandrel. I slide it in there. I've got that secured to tie on. If I use, here's a different product. Here's a fish skull shank and I've cut the eye off the back of it. There you go. Ready to tie. This is, it's just a, it's a circular piece of steel and a tightening nut and you just put it in there and you tighten it down and you're ready to go. So I'm going to tie on a, um, a piece of uh, I'm actually going to use Fireline. Dacron works great. Uh, Mono works great. One little tricky part right here is whatever kind of shank you use, sometimes that is sharp enough that will cut your thread. So I, in fact, it happens a lot. It happens so often it's frustrating. I'll take a little piece of uni yarn, wrap it over that, uh, that extra piece of metal, that sharp edge. Now I'm ready to go. Now I don't need to worry about uh, the frustration that can occur when your thread cuts multiple times. So I'm going to go back uh, within an eight sixteenth of an inch of uh, my tube fly uh, adapter, and then I'm going to go forward about an eighth of an inch. Little dab of cement here. And um, the reason I'm doing that moving forward is that I'm going to tie the butt of the squid row on that portion. So in getting my fire line for attaching my stinger hook, I know in advance about how long I want to make it. I'll hold it there on the shank. And I'll bring my thread forward. And I used to agonize over, is my, is this piece of line going to slip? I used to run it through the eye of the hook and double it back. Um, several years of, <laughs> years of experience have taught me it, it ain't going to slip. You're safe. You get a fair amount of grip. You wrap your thread tightly together. You can use Zappa Gap or Zap Gel if it makes you feel better. You don't have to. Wrap towards the rear. 30 pound Dacron works fine too. It's a little bit harder to rig your stinger hook, but we'll show you how to resolve that later. Some people like it because it kind of dangles the hook a little bit. I... That's that's right. right. That's right. right. There there are. Um, uh, tieable bite wire by Rio, toothy critter wire, monofilament, chameleon. They all they're all viable options. But here you go. Here's um, here's one means of securing the shank and tying on the loop for your stinger hook.